So now we have the uh, a, a blue screen. Very, very simple to uh, change the textures on that now that it's in there. And we just, again, scroll down on our Modify tab, and you're going to see right over here the Diffuse. And quite simply, we can literally just replace that Diffuse map with something that uh, you have already have. So we don't want to edit it at this point. I don't want to launch it into a photo editor. I just want to find an actual image, which by going to the folder, we can go ahead and look at it. Now, I've already gone to uh, Google, and I found an image that I've called Mural, you can see here, um, for the, the actual uh, set design. And again, you can find your, your image error stock images that you might have in your own library. And I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to select that. And you're going to see that now our image itself has been populated onto our uh, 2D plane that we had there. So again, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more and just position it so that now I have the wall mural on the uh, on the side that we're going to be using for our uh, our shot later on, as uh, as depicted in the uh, in the render that you saw. So we'd go through the step, and again in this one we would select the head and load our image. And I want to take Juliet, the actual actress, of a headshot of her that I've found on the on the internet, because that's what we're going to use. And again, we'll go through the process of mapping out the face, um, as I was showing you earlier, that you can do. And you would, again, refine it until you're satisfied with it um, from a detailed process, which you want to spend a little bit of time, because obviously that's going to be your actor for, for the scene, and you want to uh, present them well. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and show you the finished character now. And again, I've got the uh, the avatar complete. And you'll notice that now we have the character with our actress's face, her hair. We've modified her her um, her clothes to give us the look that we want. You'll see that now she's in a skirt that is a, a half skirt. And this is simply what I was referring to where you adjust your diffuse maps, you load them into your photo editor, and we create an opacity map where black will, will hide what uh, component we don't want visible and white will make it visible. So by basically doing almost a half and half texture of uh, black on the bottom and white on the top, it then created our skirt for us uh, to the proper length that, uh, that we would have. So there you have now your two characters that we've got for this particular scene. A, a quick walkthrough of how you go about doing it, creating the characters and the scene setup. And now we're going to get into the actual um, setup of our lights and cameras and whatnot for, um, for In this particular case, I may want to convert this as opposed to overly as a full directional light. I want to convert this to a spotlight. And in so doing, you'll notice now that I have that uh, measure of control where now I can be lighting up specific areas of it. And then we're going to control, we can control how far our light is going to shine. We're going to see if there's a decay, what type of an angle we want. And this would be all of your own visualization. And again, I'm just playing with the different features. You can see the angle, the fall off button, so that you get an idea of how easy it is to adjust the various lighting um, for your scene itself. One of the, uh, the different types of uh, shadowing that you can utilize, and uh, obviously for enhanced realism, I find self-casting shadow to be what, uh, what we'd want to do in, uh, in most cases, because you can see it, it then ends up projecting a, uh, a proper um, shadow type of, a, of, a, of an option for us, depending on where our light is. And when you're looking down here, uh, I think a little bit of a blur is natural to take off some of the uh, the hard edge. But those are all personal preferences that you can work to um, based on your system and uh, and based on how you feel uh, your lighting can be. So from that, you notice, like I said, we have the single uh, single light. And I'm actually going to a, uh, adjust this one and uh, position it in essence, where the uh, the light from our window would be coming. Um, that way we can kind of create that uh, ambiance that, uh, that we're looking for. And I'm kind of happy with that to a certain extent. 
again, very, very quickly, the, uh, uh, it, it's roughly the, uh, the right um, positioning that I want. Uh, perhaps you can take down the, uh, the angle of it a little bit if, you, uh, if you'd like. So you kind of get the idea of, of where you're going with... Uh